Thank you very much. Um, I just want to welcome everybody here from the community. It's an honor to have you here supporting these young people who are graduating. This is really um, my dream come true right here in real life, manifest. And um, I'm very thankful for each and every one of you guys that's graduating. You're very important and you're very successful. And you have an opportunity to move forward and do something productive with your life. And I'm praying for each and every one of you. There's some of you in there, I'm not going to name names, but we know we've had connections and times together. And for whatever reason, it, everything turns out for, for the good. So, you know, this is, this is um, the, you're the last group of students that's going to graduate in this facility. Because we're moving, we got a, a new facility at 1166 University. And um, so like Lane said, he said it all, this is really, you're really a special era, a special group of young people to graduate at this time. And I just want to um, wish you all the best, and, and I pray that you, you'll reach your total potential and all your success. Also, I'd like to thank the staff that's here that's helped these young people be successful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They've really done an amazing job, and it's it's really for a lot of our students, and I know a lot of our staff. This is our second home. This is we stay here after hours. We're in the studio all night. We're filming stuff. We're going on trips. We're spending time together, and it's really you know it. You know it's special. There's some, there's some spirituality here that's not just in every school you go to. I can say that. Because I know, because I know where this school came from. And it is my job. I, 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 I know I'm the founder, but I really, I know I'm a steward. Uh, and a steward is a servant. And that's somebody that does what's necessary to create what the, what the um, message that I'm getting from my higher power telling me to make sure that this place is in good standing and protected. And um, I just want to um, tell everybody I'm really, I'm really glad they're here. I don't get a chance, this is probably my last chance in this building, but I do this all the time because this is the foundation that I built this school on was my rap, my personal, my true confession. And so I don't usually get a big crowd to hear it, but most of the students hear it, but I'm gonna let everybody get a taste of it because this is it. This is this is the, the last hurrah. So I have to see. See, this here raps about the true confession. If you listen close, you're about to learn a lesson. You must know failure before success. Now this is the failure, I must confess. I was hanging on the street trying to deal with this. Playing the games almost got dismissed. Cocaine was a thing that I took on. And nowhere was the place that I was going. Now I must tell the truth, I cannot lie. I was headed for the kill, steal, destroy, and die. From the top to the bottom, the bottom to the top. Success is where I'm headed, there ain't no doubt. Success is something that we all want. But the truth is what you need to reach that point. The truth is something you can't deny. Your only defense is to tell a lie. I had to give this message the stone cold truth. I hope there's something in it that's there for you. Like I said before, I'm going to tell you again. Success is something that's deep within. So remember the truth. You can't go wrong. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. I had to do this rap, and I know it's right. Because I did it in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a true protection. Take it out to get protection. So, when you step in out here, don't deny the truth. Get with it, be about it, stay with it. You know, there was something that I heard that said people can, um, uh, um, uh, Cut you down, 
break you, kick you back, but it's all about you standing in the end. So stand up for something and do the best you can and be successful. Do something for your community, give back to your community. And that's what I learned through the whole thing is that it's not all about me, it's about me, my family, and everybody else. The pillars of this school are family, respect, community, and education. So that's what I leave you with. We're going to leave this place. If you know any young people that are trying to get their high school diploma next year, we're going to be down the street right across from Arnellis at the Old Valley Swimming Fitness. Bring them on. You know, people, one thing about this school, people say a lot. You know, in the community, you hear all kind of things. But you know what? I don't care what they say because I know that this place is special and these kids are special and they, they're our future. They really have something to offer this community and I'm, I'm very thankful for each and every one of them. Hey, let's, really, um, like Lane said, TC re, um, reiterated, this is the end of the era. Um, before we get to hear from the graduates, which is really what, who we're all here from, for, I just really want to give a special thanks to TC for his vision, for his stewardship. And the end of this era, if we could just stand, I think TC deserves a standing ovation for all that he's done. For that it's been incredible. Because, um, you know, sometimes you need visionaries, and but for his vision, you wouldn't have these young people up here. We hear all the time about how, you know, our youth today, they're really not amounting to much. They've got all of these things going on in their lives, so many challenges, and in a sense, despite what you, we hear about them, it's really a reflection on us. It's really a reflection on us in terms of as a community, really taking these young people and holding them close to us and really give them, giving them the guidance and the direction that they need. Like David said, I just have to reiterate as the program director that this is the greatest staff in this whole country in terms of high school education. Really, if you spend any time here and you have a chance to see how dedicated, how spirited, how smart, how engaging the staff is, you will understand why this place is special and why we as a community working with you guys as parents and as um, guardians and as um, advocates for these young people coming together, able to make that thought that these young people, you know, maybe they won't amount to much because of what they're going through, that that's just a myth. It's just about us coming together. So we acknowledge TC, but I want to take the time now again before the graduates to acknowledge you, the parents, the guardians, the advocates for partnering with us for being a part of the lives of these young people because without you, we never could do what we're doing. You guys have been incredible. And the fact that you're here and giving them the kind of words of encouragement that you did, they're going to remember this the rest of their lives. And to you graduates, I just want to say that we're so proud of you. But not only in terms of what you guys have accomplished yourselves, but I just want to personally thank you for the fact that you are modeling for all the students who are here right now today, who are still in school and looking up to you guys right now in terms of what they need to accomplish. How many, how many students do we have here? Just say, you know, give a big shout out who's still here in the school currently. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's right. I just want to say that, you know, you guys are really demonstrating what it takes to persevere. The mornings you don't want to get up, but you got up. The, the work that they say is like, you know, so insurmountable. You, you worked your way through it. I can't even begin to imagine what you've gone through maybe in your personal lives that's been challenging. We've heard about deaths and all kinds of things. You have demonstrated to yourselves that you could overcome anything. But the last thing I want to say to you is that 
It's a cold, cruel world out there. This is just the beginning. This is a day of celebration, but this is also a day of reflection. There are, there are young people out all around this world today and in, the, in these um, connecting days that are just like you graduating. And they're thinking about their future. And the ones who are going to make it are the ones who are going to see this as the beginning of that journey. The beginning of being a lifelong learner. Go out and continue to get educated. Learn a trade. Learn a vacation. Hone a skill. Get certification. Go out and get a degree. Go to college. Continue to learn. Continue to recognize that you're going to be competing with people and young people who get that. And nobody's going to give you a break. It's going to be on you. We'll have your back, but in the end, it's up to you. But you have demonstrated to yourself today that you can do it. So in the future, when you have those challenges, remember what got you here today. And remember that no matter how insurmountable it may seem, you guys can do it. So congratulations to you. So with that, this is the highlight of the program.